Hello, welcome to the Mark Jordan Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, we are going to do a review of Ubuntu. Is it illegal? Is it not? Let's get into it. So Ubuntu is a Linux distribution designed to mimic the look and feel of Windows 11 while offering the stability and flexibility of Linux. It's based on Ubuntu and uses the KDE Plasma desktop environment to achieve a Windows 11 like appearance, right? Like that Spider-Man meme, right? That Spider-Man meme. So it, the key features of Ubuntu include Windows 11-like interface, including similar panel layout and aesthetics. The pre-installed Microsoft apps like Teams, Edge, and Copilot, Office 365 integration, and only Office desktop editors, support for Android devices and Active Directory, inclusion of popular software like Steam, Wine, VLC, so on and so forth. The pros is it's like you know it has a user you know friendly interface right familiar to the windows users so it can but i don't know they they i think they out there copying right it combines ubuntu stability with windows like aesthetics it includes a wide range of pre-installed software it's you know it's, it's potentially easier transition from those migrating to you know from windows right now the cons however it's not officially endorsed by microsoft or linux the community rather right there is potential security risks and compatibility issues. It may not adhere to Linux GPL due to closed source elements. You know that, you know, they like that open source stuff. Now the charges for pro version license key, it charges right for that. Now there are main security and hit that subscribe button, hit that, hit that like button right now. Hit that subscribe, hit that like button. So package suggestion vulnerabilities, Ubuntu's command not found package can be manipulated to suggest malicious snap packages, potentially leading to supply chain attacks. That's one security issue with Ubuntu. The next one is snap package risks, right? Confined snap packages can exploit X11 vulnerabilities to steal user credentials. There are kernel vulnerabilities that could allow malicious snap packages to breach sandboxing and gain control over the host system. There is the APT package, the impersonation rather, right? Up to 26% of APT package commands could be exploited by registering them as snap package names, leading to the suggestion of malicious packages there's typo squatting attacks where attackers can register snaps and use names similar to common typos tricking users into installing malicious packages there's privilege escalation vulnerabilities in the snap confined function could allow attackers to gain root privileges on the target system misconfigurations is, a, is another one of them right and security gaps right common issues include exposed services default credentials and improperly configured cloud environments so to mitigate these risks if you still want that you still want to you know go for it users should regularly update their systems be cautious when installing packages and verify the authenticity of software sources right so you want to keep that in mind so ubuntu is able to handle compatibility with windows software through wine integration right ubuntu comes with an optimized version of wine a compatibility layer that allows running some windows applications on linux this enables users to run certain exe and dot msi files directly there's also the pre-installed microsoft apps ubuntu includes several we talked about it my teams and copilot Office 365 integration, the distribution offers quick links to Office 365 apps, which open in the Edge browser, allowing users to access Microsoft's cloud-based productivity suite. We have only Office for local document creation and management. Ubuntu includes only Office desktop editors, which offers compatibility with Microsoft Office file formats. Now there's also the Android subsystem, right? Ubuntu includes an Android subsystem that allows users to install and run Android apps and games directly from the Play Store, okay? So that's what I have for you today. Hit that subscribe button and the like button if you were educated and entertained. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you were educated and entertained. Also, let me know which one is better. Is it Ubuntu? Is it Linux Mint? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If you team Ubuntu, let me know. If you team Linux Mint, let me know. Okay, so we, we got a war out here in 2025, right? The war of the operating systems. The war of the operating systems. <laughs> See you on the next video.